This week I'm talking about how you can practice Japanese listening and then improve your Japanese listening skills. So let me show you. Today I'm talking about the very first part. So I hope you can see this one. Yeah, listening, you know, um, roughly we have two kinds of listening and then I'd like you to think about what kind of listening practice you are doing in your uh, Japanese studying, okay? So the first one is listening a lot. Yes, for example, if you watch uh, Japanese drama, Japanese anime, Japanese um, films, or Japanese games, or Japanese radio, or whatever. So if you listen to Japanese language a lot, this is this one, yeah. This is very important because, you know, when, you, when we think about how we develop our native language, we listen a lot what is going on in our, you know, daily environment. Maybe we hear, we heard, you know, the parents chatting about, you know, or the, you know, listening to the, um, the conversation nearby, or, you know, these kinds of inputs are really important to develop our own native language. So it's the same as Japanese. Um, but it seems, you know, uh, many Japanese learners are listening to Japanese a lot and then hope Oh, one day I can listen, you know, understand everything. But this is very important foundation. But if you just rely on this one, um, it's not so, um, how can I say? It takes long time to improve your Japanese listening skills. So I recommend you do this one. Listening precisely. So precisely means you listen to, um, the what the the speaker said and then listen very carefully and then capture almost all the sound <gasps> does it sound really difficult so let me show you so listening a lot is listen to japanese every day so maybe you can just turn on the japanese films or japanese radio and then you know listen a lot and then maybe you find oh i know this word i can you know recognize this word so that's very you know nice so it's like you know you just um feel japanese language a lot in your daily life but listening precisely is very different kinds of brain activity listen and catch each sound so how can you do it not many people um do this listening activity and so that's why they find you know it's very difficult to understand when people are talking so the most important part this today I, i'm talking about these things um in this week so today i just show you the overview okay the most important activity is actually dictation and many people say oh dictation is it's not so interesting it's very boring yes i know <laughs> but dictation helps a lot okay and then dictation require um lots of um uh, brain energy so um it's very difficult if you try to um to do dictation for a long time i don't recommend that because your brain will brain <laughs> Okay, you feel ah, yeah. So, but the, I um, I'd like to you know um, uh, give advice to you. Try you know just a short passage of um, uh, listening and then dictate what what's actually the sentence said. That you know what's the, what's the sentence is said. So uh, this is really helpful. So just a very tiny amount of time maybe one minute or five minutes a day kind of dictation and then when you use dictation when you try to do dictation i um cannot emphasize enough but use correct japanese language materials please yes because i know there are several not accurate sometimes wrong japanese sentences 
uh, in the internet world. <laughs> It doesn't help you to acquire a correct, authentic Japanese language um, and then, you know, develop your listening skills. So I recommend you to use correct Japanese language materials. Uh, first, uh, if you are um, intermediate learners or upper beginner level, maybe um, NHK Easy News website helps a lot. And that website... Um, did I write it? Oh no, sorry. Um, yeah, I will type in the comment later. But uh, you can find the uh, NHK News, Easy News. Um, they show you the very um, short Japanese, you know, Japan-related news uh, in a simple Japanese language. And it's very helpful for you to read. And also they include um, audio. Well, um, the, the quality of audio is not great, but you can use it to, to um, do the dictation practice. Okay? And for the, um, the beginner level, I created this Fun Japanese Listening Podcast. So many people subscribe this podcast and find it helpful. Thank you so much if you've already done it. Um, so I give you the very short passage and then I focus on the beginner level. Japanese and you can listen and then you know write down what is going on you can download the um, worksheet I already created the worksheet so you just bring the blanks I um, make a gap for for example particle or tricky words so you can listen um, precisely using this podcast and then you can download the uh, answer and then translation so and it's for free, yes. So please use this podcast if you like. And also, oh, um, I have so maybe, you know, if you find, oh, I'm just very, very beginner. I'm absolute beginner, just started. So uh, in that case, maybe even this podcast um, can be a bit tricky for you. So in that case, I recommend you to use this uh, complete Japanese hiragana book. Well, this is, uh, of course, Hiragana learning book, but I include, let me show you, I maybe switch the screen. Yeah. Can you see it? So, listening practice. So, you can download the, all the audio for this book. Yeah, bonus audio tracks. So, you can listen to the audio and then write down uh, a word, or sometimes just one Hiragana. So you can listen and then find out Japanese uh, sound, okay, Japanese words. So not the sentence, but the word level. So it's very um, important, you know, practice for absolute beginners. Um, the reason I include dictation practice in this hiragana workbook is um, hiragana represents Japanese sound. Okay, hiragana is not just a, um, uh, the weird looking letter, but actually hiragana is a um, to rep it was invented to represent Japanese sounds. So I'd like you to practice to catch the authentic Japanese sound, you know, which is um, related to each hiragana letter. So you can practice very, very um, basic but um, good dictation practice for each chapter. So in this um, the basic hiragana letters, you get the 24 dictation practice. So, <laughs> and then each chapter has um, like, you know, 16s or, you know, uh, yeah. So you have lots of short, very short dictation practice in this book. So if you find the, um, you know, to catch the Japanese sentence um, uh, difficult, maybe you know start from the word level and then once you can uh, catch each Japanese word you can move on to the catch the sentence and then catch the text and then you feel oh I understand Japanese more precisely hey so today is I'm talking about the how to improve your Japanese listening skills first and today is an overview I explained there are two types of listening one is listening a lot and the second is listening precisely to catch each 
every details right so from tomorrow i'm talking about more details uh practice tips and then yeah tricks <laughs> to you i hope you enjoy it um so see you tomorrow sayonara